Hi, I'm Yuko Miki. I'm an artist and illustrator at Honeyberry Studios. I love drawing animals, and we're going to draw roosters today. We're going to use koi brush pens in deep yellow, peacock green, and vermilion. You can use any colors you like, but I like to keep it the three colors to give this drawing a cohesive look. And we're going to use Micron PN, that is plastic nib, in black. The plastic nib is more durable and it draws very smoothly even on textured papers. And this is Micron size 003 in black. This is a new size and it's very very fine. If you don't have these, you can use any fine tip drawing pens you like. And I'm going to use white jelly roll pen for adding some patterns and textures. For the paper, I'm using Mixed Media Pad from Strathmore, and that's their Series 400. This paper is nice and thick, and it's got a little bit of texture, but is very smooth and works great with the fine-tipped Micron pen. You can use any paper or sketchbook as long as it doesn't have a lot of texture. You can Google the images of roosters to get reference images. I like to simplify and stylize my roosters, so I just sketch this rooster with his basic body parts to reference while I work on my drawing. So today, we're going to draw three roosters using only three colors. And instead of drawing one rooster at a time, we're going to jump around and work on different parts of the roosters using one color at a time. So I'm going to start with the deep yellow koi pen. For the first rooster, we're going to draw his head and the cape. It looks almost like a bowling pin or a skinny octopus with four legs. And I'm going to draw a little circle for the eye and leave it white. And fill in the rest. For the second rooster, I'm going to draw the outline of the body. Start with the back go up to the head and come down to his chest and draw the tail feathers. And I'll draw the thighs and fill them in. For the third rooster, I'm gonna draw the tail feathers. I'll draw a really showy one with the feathers standing up. Looks kinda like a hand and I'll fill it in with the deep yellow. Okay, so now we're moving on to the vermilion koi brush pen. Vermilion is an orangey red color. I'm gonna add a comb to his head and fill it in. And I'm gonna draw his beak as well and the waddle as well. I'm going to go ahead and draw his body with this color too. We'll go up and draw lines for the tail feathers and go down and round up to the neck. For the second rooster, I'm going to draw the head and the cape. I'm going to leave the eye white again. For the third rooster, I'm going to layer the vermilion to create two-tone tail feathers. It's okay to layer vermilion on top of the yellow. It becomes more orangey when you blend the two. Instead of layering this color all over on his tail, I'm going to layer it on every other segment of his tail. Okay, now we're going to go back and add more body parts with the peacock green koi pen, which is one of my favorite colors. I'm going to draw his hawks. They're sort of like a half moon shape or a bowl shape. And I'll draw the line around his eye to create the shape um, for the area that looks kind of like eye mask. For the second rooster, I'll give him the wing with the peacock ring. It almost looks like a pocket on his body and it's got four little fingers on one side. 
and I'll draw a line to connect the little fingers to the pointy part of his wing to create four segments on the wing. And I'll fill in the tips of his wing segments with peacock green. For the third rooster, I'll draw his body with the peacock green. I'll start with the outline, and I'll add his beak with the line in the middle, white circle for the eye, and I'm just going to fill in the whole body with this color. Okay, so now we're going back to the deep yellow again to add some patterns to the roosters. For this rooster, I'll add patterns all over his body. Let's draw some teardrop shapes here. And the second rooster, I'm going to add his comb and waddle with yellow. For the third rooster, I'll draw the outline of his hawks and I'm going to fill in his beak with the yellow. Now we're back to vermilion red again. I'll add some lines to his tail feathers. I'll draw a line in the middle of each of his tail feather and draw shoulder lines going from the center to the edge of the feathers. You can control the thickness of your koi brush pen strokes by adjusting the pressure you add to the pens. For the second rooster, his body is looking a little bare, so I'm gonna add some triangles. You have the creative license to draw any patterns you like on these roosters, even if they don't exist in nature. So have fun! For him, I'll add a little bit of texture to his comb and his waddle. I'll draw little marks and dashes. And let's add some patterns on his hawks. Okay, now we're back to peacock green again. I'll add a little texture to his neck feather. I'll draw small dashes going up and down. When you layer the peacock green on top of the deep yellow, it becomes more yellow green, which is pretty. For rooster number two, I could add a little texture on his hawks. Drawing little dashes again. I don't think this guy needs any more peacock green, so I'm just gonna skip him for now. So I decided to add a little more peacock green to this guy, so I'm just drawing more triangles on his tail feathers. Just repeating the triangles that are on his body. I'm pretty happy with the marker drawings, so now I'm going to add some details with the Micron plastic nib pen. I'll add his eye in the middle of the white circle we left here. I love how drawing an eye on the creature makes their personalities come through. I'll draw his legs as well. Draw the outlines in his toes and his spurs at the back of his ankle. I'll give them stripes. I'm going to draw smaller teardrop shapes inside of the yellow patterns on his body. You want to make sure the koi pens are completely dry before you draw with a micron pen over it. I'll give this guy an eye and I forgot to draw his beak with the koi pen, so I'll just draw his beak right now. And his tiny legs with three toes and some stripes. This guy gets an eye and legs also. Now we're going to go back and add more details with the Micron 003. This pen has a really fine tip, so when you're using it, be very, very careful not to put a lot of pressure on the tip or it'll be damaged. So light touch. I'll add some dashes around his eye inside of the eye mask area. And give some wavy lines on his thighs. Here's a close-up of the details around the eye and the legs. For the second rooster, I'll add some line work to his wing. I'll draw a curved line in the center of his feather. And let's add some V shapes, slightly going down to the center and going back up on the other side. 
It's a very fine, delicate line. Do the same for each of his wing segments. They look almost like patterns on leaves. Now let's add some texture to his comb and model. Little dashes. Here's a close-up of the details on his comb and waddle. Let's draw the outline of his eye mask area and add some dashes inside of the line. He doesn't have the wing yet, so let's give him some wings. I'll draw the outline on his body, kind of like a pocket. And then let's draw some lines on his wing. Be careful not to put too much pressure on the pen but let it glide on the paper. I'll add very small dots and circles on his wing. I'll draw in every other segment on his wing. Here is a close-up of the details around his eye and on his wing. And I also added little dots on his thighs. Okay, now let's add some texture and patterns with the white jelly roll pen. The white color shows up the best on a darker background. And make sure the koi pens are dry before you draw with a jelly roll pen here. I'm going to add some dashed lines on his comb and the waddle. You don't want to press this pen too hard on the paper. You want to use a light touch to let the ink flow freely from the tip. For the second rooster, I'll add small V shapes on his neck and the jelly roll pen might be glossy and a little hard to see when you're drawing, but you see it better when it's dry. And for this guy, I'll draw squiggly lines all over his body, avoiding the wing. And let's draw some of the same pattern from the other roosters on his tail feathers. I'm just drawing the lines on the segments of his tail feathers where we layered yellow and vermilion together because the white lines will be more visible. Here are the details of the jelly roll pen drawing. You can definitely see them better once it's dry. At this stage, I want to pull back and see if I'm missing anything. How is the balance of the colors and is there enough contrast for each rooster? Are there areas where I can use more highlights or add weight with black pens? Okay, so for this guy, I added some white details on his patterns to add more dimensions. For this guy, I added smaller black triangles on top of the red triangles with Micron PN and drew more V-shapes all over his body to give a little bit more texture. And for this guy, I went over the squiggles with the white jelly roll pen again, so the white pops more. And for his wing, I added more black lines with Micron PN to add more contrast. There you have it. Here are your three colorful roosters. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I can't wait to see what you come up with. If you share your work on Instagram, don't forget to tag me at Honeyberry Studios 